Teradata is a, you all know that it's a relational database like any other database like Oracle or SQL Server and any other database available in the market today. Uh, but why we need Teradata? We have plenty of databases available, right? And still people are going for uh, Teradata. Why? What was the reason for that? So thing is, Teradata as the name suggests, it's a corporation uh, which was invented around um, around the 80s. So thing is, uh, when you say Teradata, the data size is very huge. Whenever you want to handle the volumes of data is very high, like millions or teradata or petadata size, then you can actually choose teradata as a database because and the main reason is uh, teradata can handle uh, OLAP systems in a better way. OLAP you all know, right? What is OLAP? So I will just tell you as you are already working on ETL and you have some idea on ETL, right? So OLAP is online analytical uh, programming, right? So yeah. OLAP systems are nothing but we should be used for the analysis of the data, right? Whereas mm -hmm. OLTP that is available in the market like Oracle and all the current one, which will be having the transaction uh, data processing units. Like those databases are mainly used for transaction data. For example, on a day-to-day -day bank, if you're using uh, a transaction, right, those things can be handled well with other relational databases with OLTP that is Oracle and all the stuff. But Teradata is uh, you know, typically designed for OLTP systems. Uh, why? Because uh, the insert operation in Teradata will be little slower compared to any other databases. But the reading operation of the data, that means if you export something or pull data something from the Teradata, it will be very faster compared to any other database. For example, if you are um, fetching like uh, 1 million rows out of a database uh, whereas if you do it from any other database like Oracle and SQL Server definitely it will take a lot of time when you use the complex joints and all. But in Teradata that's the advantage. You can retrieve the data within fraction of seconds even if it's millions of rows. Like uh, how you design your table that will be different, different based on the architect, data architect. But basically the thing is it will be uh, very faster with Teradata. That is the basic difference between any other databases, between relational like Teradata and other databases. And why it is so popular? Because uh, most of the companies, for example, take Walmart as an example, that are the biggest data warehouse in the world, and they are using Teradata because the data volumes can be very huge. And uh, one more thing is Teradata can be very flexible and very scalable. Scalable in the sense. It can be enhanced any at any given point of time. If your business is growing, you can add multiple sessions to your database. You know, instead of uh, expanding your or the single database alone and upgrading to the new version, or in Teradata, we can have a multiple. You know, like it's like a hardware and software combination. For example, if you have you are running a business. For example, you have uh, you know today ten thousand customers for your business and you are expecting around 50,000 customers by one year. Okay, for example, you buy a, you bought a database like or any other database. So you have given some size of data. But whenever your business is growing, what other database literally will do, they will do the upgradation of the software and they have a new version to enable the data and all that stuff. But in Teradata, what happens is like uh, you can directly configure a CPU like it's a server, right? So you can add one more CPU mm -hmm. into the parallel structure and you can configure with few software updates. It will just, uh, you know, connecting like any other machine and you can increase the size of the database just like that. That's a parallel processing. So that is the biggest advantage of Teradata. You don't need to worry about your size of the organization or data that you have to handle, how it will be, you know, popular, like if it is having multiple you know, number of business, then how to handle that. So you don't need to worry about these stuff. So, mm -hmm. any, any questions so far? Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So this is a basic thing and OLAP is basically used for analysis. As is, uh, the name is suggesting analysis, nothing but uh, whenever as a data warehouse, we know that why the data will be used, right? The real-time data, because uh, let's say example the Walmart again. If you have some product and you say 
uh, you want to see the 10 years of data for how it is actually doing how I mean what is your strategical operation that we have to perform on that in the coming you know year like what to take the decision on that so you have a, a previous data warehouse and you have different uh, data mods available in your data warehouse and different businesses can access the information across the data mods uh, and concern about the product so I am from I am a sales manager I want to know only the sales area as you know right data warehouse can be split into multiple data mods and the corresponding views can be created on the database so in Teradata the same thing will apply and you can have uh, multiple multiple views with respect to the base table only so you can design your views according to your requirement and you can restrict the data for example I am looking at the sales data I don't want you know financial information or any other uh, retail information something like with uh, about the product I want only the sales information uh, corresponding to the last month or two months sale like what is the progress of that what is the need of you know ordering more products from the market so something like that I want to take a strategic decision so I will just go uh, to the data mod and I will just you know uh, query that uh, view which is already designed for sales mod and I can access the information from the sales mod. So that is the purpose of data actually. What we do with the data is nothing more. We do the analysis with the data and we can predict the changes in the market. For example, if I want to, my product is doing good in the last two months and the sales are very high compared to other products with the same category. For example, take a camera, uh, mm -hmm. let's say a Nikon camera. I just uh, ordered some thousand pieces last month and the orders were you know, if I say the sales data, analysis data, it will show that margin of amount and, for example, the number of profits, the profitable amount and the percentage of, you know, increase in the region. All the facts, right? These are all facts. So, you know, right? Fact table and dimension table and data warehouse. The fact yeah. is nothing but telling you about your uh, data, how it is actually doing with, with the measures, right? So, the measures can be seen within the data warehouse, saying that, yeah, I have seen. Uh, a marginal increase, 15% uh, revenue generation on this product from the last two months. So, and the stock is like uh, nearly comes to an end. So, I have to order new new stock, something like that. You can take some strategic decisions. So that's mm -hmm. how they do in a real time, like uh, any any business, not only Walmart. So, it depends on their operations and the corresponding uh, area. They can just look out that. If you take healthcare. The other way around, like how many clients are processed for a given, you know, a specific period for a patient, like how many clients he's doing per month. So, can we give the insurance next year to him or not? Because we provide the concept uh, no climb bonus, something like that in the real time insurance domain. So, that guy, whether he climbed anything in the past for last uh, one year, shall we give that for no climb bonus amount, something like that? These are all. Decisions can be taken from OLTP. Whereas OLTP is a transaction data where you can see uh, the data on a regular basis. That is fine. You can get still get the data, but thing is, you won't get these facts and you know the format that you require for a business because uh, the high level people like at managing directors and CEO they don't know how to write a query at uh, Oracle. I mean the database level with the transaction data they can't modify much with respect to the analysis, right? So that's why the only to come into vision the data warehouse as a power. That's the main thing, you know, for evaluation of the data warehouse. And coming to the Terra data, that's what we, this is the introduction of the Terra data, why we use that. And I'll just give you a brief uh, course content as well. And I can tell you what is like Terra data contents and all. So this is a basic background of Terra data. If you see that Teradata is an RDBMS as you know, and it can be a, it is an open system. Open system as in it can operate any any platform like Unix or Windows or any mainframe client. So it doesn't matter. So this is an open environment. Normally in Teradata and real time environments, most of the project they install in Unix because Unix is like a, a very secured and very compatible like a very high you know, a high performance compared to Windows. So most of the time they install on Unix, the environment. 
and you can access the front end tool using the windows environment because the client and all the SQL client can be accessed through the windows here yeah. so uh, like any other databases Teradata is also comply with the industry standards industry standards is nothing but uh, the ANSI language right for example if you have a syntax for uh, writing a query so Teradata also falls I mean, into the same category and it will follow everything that an RDBMS data, database could follow that's why it's called an ANSI standard I mean industry standard Teradata so thing is uh, this is a you know structure of an Teradata system like how it will be so basic thing is I will go in detail uh, later because it's a demo course right? I'm just giving the overall picture of Teradata as of now so once you start the you know courses you can go into the detail of each component and I will just tell you what is the course content actually so the course content mostly it will be around 25 to 30 hours uh, I mean including everything like uh, the contents like introduction of Teradata I just told you what is Teradata and you can discuss about the architecture in detail and uh, compare to study what are the database components like uh, we have Teradata utilities basically so once we start the SQL concepts right here Teradata SQL uh, the data dictionary primary keys advanced SQL performance tuning because if you have already an SQL idea it will be good because uh, you know like how to write a create a table because the syntax will be more or less same compared to any other database only thing is you need to know the syntax uh, because uh, Teradata we have uh, the same ANSI standard right? create table statements the same thing insert into any table create view and indexes and primary here the concept will be little different compared to other databases because in Teradata there is no concept called primary key I mean here it's though it is written as a primary key but it's actually primary index I will tell you what is the difference between those two primary key and primary index and uh, the performance tuning nothing but how you tune a query I mean how to write a best query like whenever you have a complex queries in your project there is an option like to modify based on the input and how it actually Teradata explain plan will show what you write in that and how it is performing and all so we we'll go through those in the details with the hands-on uh, you know experience and Teradata application this is one of the important of Teradata database like BTEC uh, fast export fast load M load T pump there are different utilities which, which are already coming coming with the Teradata software itself like the Teradata will provide you different options based on the data like how you want to do the load or import the data or export the data from the database there are different operations can be you know done on the Teradata so BTEC script is nothing but the basic Teradata query so which will be like in the form of a cell script and there is a standard format to invoke that BTEC script into a Teradata by using normally we handle that in Unix right we can write in a different BTEC scripts to handle that so I will tell you what are those BTEC scripts and I can give you a sample BTEC scripts as well how you know in real time the betas can be used because in most of the time when you are using informatica with Teradata right so informatica can do only operation up to some extent right? because informatica if you write everything in the informatica what will happen in database level uh, most of the time we are uh, using the beta scripts to you know get the work done in a simpler and better way uh, with respect to performance as well because informatica depends on like lookup transformation and all if you use the uh, you know those things the performance will be hampered right so therefore they have a mechanism whenever you're using the Teradata as a backend database you can have different utilities can be used to load the data and especially when you read the data from the source uh, using the relational connection that that is the normal thing that we do in informatica when you use any source we use relational connection but thing is relational connection will be very slow compared to you know any other connection so we have a different op option there like multi load fast load in informatica itself so that connection will be defined with Teradata so in informatica if you see in the workflow manager whenever you try to create an object and you are running the workflow there is an option to select this option Teradata connections when you select the relational 
uh, database as Teradata, it will just show all these options, like what are the connections available. So each entity has its own uh, speciality, and therefore we can read the data in very faster way. So there, that's, that, that's the reason actually we use Teradata, because if you have millions of rows and you are doing the standard stuff in table in your query, BIR class, and you have, uh, you know, it will take so much time to read the data. But in data data, it will be different. Even it doesn't matter whatever the query might be, you can just write with, with respect to the standards, then we can have these utilities in place, and it will fetch the data in very high, you know, with very efficient way, like, it will be like in the fraction of seconds, even the millions of rows. So that's the advantage of data data.